that that would be Conventional Kimura, okay, which is basically let's say I try to attack a key lock here and he moves on on the outside, which is common here, okay, and then you go this way here where <coughs> you begin to bend it here, okay. But what happens here is sometimes you miss it, so you can also get this lock right here, okay? Because they're kind of maybe hiding it, maybe here, okay? And what you can do is, and if you, it's hard to extract it here. Remember that when you let go of the right hand that controls the wrist, you have to have this hand kind of wedged up because it makes it harder for him to unweave it versus here. Here he can just go here and then he you lose that control. So as we did from North-South Matrix, is I want this right here. So as I'm moving it out, I'm just gonna hug right here. And it's almost like a bicep slicer. But now in order to torque that Kimura this way, I'm gonna now walk around his head. And it already locks the shoulder. Because it's very difficult for him to get it out from here. Right. So ideally what I want, I'm gonna loosen it here. Okay. I want to get on this side here and begin to crank the shoulder up this way because the Kimura cranks that way and you can also walk around this way too. Problem is that you got to keep this arm bent. Okay. And you come this way here, your hips blocking the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to trap the arm here and get that left hand under, weave it through, and this hand goes through, and kind of shoulder bicep hug right here. Keep it a little looser so it's not as tight, because in all reality, it, it's very difficult for him to escape his hand and free his arm. Kind of try to free your arm, Jordan. You can't straighten it, and you can keep it bent, because that's kind of what you want in order to get the Kimura. From here, I'm just gonna walk around, I'm gonna sit through here so you can lift and lift out to the left. I'm gonna do it right here, okay? So if he's, let's say, grabbing his pants or something and you can't quite get it, even though here, you can like this, look. And you can get it with the talk about that too but let's say he's holding his pants for purposes of this particular control you're just gonna bicep elbow shoulder is fine if he keeps gripping it it's okay because all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my hips around this way here and I'm gonna <coughs> lift the shoulder off the mat slowly because this gets really super tight as you look to the left. And you should feel your hip on their neck shoulder, right here, okay? And if your hip moves up, you have a great control. So, here, kind of caught the Kimura, but he's got a tight bicep, elbow right here. When you drill it, have the uh, your partner let go of that grip just so that this arm is loose but the bottom person don't let your ligaments all like be all like uh, spaghetti you got to kind of keep your arm engaged a little bit just so that the muscle gets uh, the tension not the ligaments from here I'm gonna hop up walk this way here slide the knee through and I'm gonna kind of pin with my ribs his shoulder so I look to the left and I lift my left elbow and drag that right one on the mat and finish. Okay. Let's do one, two, three. Everybody heads to the left, feet to the right, and you're attacking your partner's left arm.
So Kirsten, working with whoever. Maybe these two right here, since they're less bulky. <laughs> 